And we're here in Gatineau on the shores of the Ottawa River and in behind me is Kettle Island. Um, it's actually a, a place that a lot of people in Ottawa will have heard about um, because it's been very controversial over the years, but um, very few people have probably been there uh, and a lot of people likely have never really intentionally laid eyes on the place. Um, uh, but it's a huge island, it's three kilometers long, uh, and uh, the reason it's controversial is because for about the last 60, 70 years, various levels of government in uh, Ottawa, Gatineau, uh, primarily the National Capital Commission, have seen Kettle Island as the best place for a sixth interprovincial bridge. The main reason to build the bridge is actually to get truck traffic off of King Edward Avenue in downtown Ottawa. Uh, that's always been considered a blight on what is supposed to be a beautiful national capital. Uh, even though Kettle Island has been uh, debated for decades, um, it, it, a lot of people, well nobody really, knows the deep history of this place going back a hundred or even two hundred years. But a hundred years ago, uh, Kettle Island was actually the go-to place in, um, uh, in this region during the summertime. Uh, it was described as uh, Ottawa's Coney Island uh, and it had um, all kinds of carnival games and uh, there, was a, there was a moving picture theatre, uh, as they called it at the time. Um, uh, there was a band shell, there was a hotel and a restaurant. Uh, so um, a lot of people on the weekends would take a ferry uh, from uh, the Rockcliffe side, uh, come out to Kettle Island and spend the day. Um, there were events that had thousands of people. Um, there was a full baseball diamond uh, here where there were um, significant games played back in uh, the early 20th century. A lot of people in Ottawa will know about, for example, the Sir Galahad statue on uh, Parliament Hill. Uh, it's a very well-known story about Henry Harper, uh, a young civil servant, a good friend of uh, William Lyon Mackenzie King, who um, uh, rushed uh, into uh, a broken section of ice to try to save uh, Bessie Blair who was skating with him on the Ottawa River. That actually happened right here just off of Kettle Island. One of the one of the other skaters tried to hold him back but he said you know what else can I do and he dove in to try and save uh, the young woman um, and they both drowned. Um, but that's actually just one of many many dramatic moments that took place in the vicinity of Kettle Island. And then it has an even deeper history. Um, like all of the islands in the Ottawa River, of course, they um, were uh, possessed and occupied by Indigenous people for thousands of years. Uh, and in the 1830s, Kettle Island became a very contentious um, scene. Uh, and, and in fact, it was a definitive decision about uh, the ownership of Kettle Island um, that ultimately led to the creation of the reserves uh, that were created for the Algonquin people at Kitigan Zibi and at uh, Pikwakanagan. Pick uh, so um, Kettle Island has this you know, incredibly rich history that uh, very few people know about uh, in this region. So it's likely to become, again, for about the seventh or eighth time in Ottawa Gatineau's history, a contentious subject this fall because the National Capital Commission is going to be holding public consultations about a proposed interprovincial bridge down here.